January 14th, 1942. It's a cold winter. Snow falls outside and the crisp cool air fills the beautiful landscape of the Russian land. I work as a researcher in a Soviet biological warfare lab known as Vector State Research Center of Virology, Virology and Biotechnology. In Vector, we test multiple biological and chemical weapons, including smallpox, Marburg virus, and anthrax. We are going to test another chemical starting today, an unknown substance created in our labs. So it was referred to as MV0024. This is a liquid chemical. Tastes, looks, and feels like water. What MV0024 is supposed to do is turn the enemy into a slave. Make it do only what it's told to do. In the lab, we have 10 captured Nazi spies. They were informed that if they did what they were told, they would be freed. Every day at 10 p.m., we give each subject a 7-ounce glass of MV0024. The subjects believe it's just regular water. Dmitry Afanasy. January 23rd, 1942. It's been about a week that we've begun testing and we have noticed a slight change in the subject's behavior. One of the persons began mumbling to himself in the corner of the room. When we turned up the microphone, he was recorded saying, Only death will set mankind free from the bonds of earth. Intrigued but not faltered, I put this aside and continued my studies. The other subjects were watching him closely, as if his ramblings inspired them. Dimitri Avenazi February 2nd, 1942 in the past couple of days, every subject has curled into a ball, mumbling different things. Some things they have said include, Love is the strongest weapon for evil. God has abandoned us. We must make our own heaven. And death is the only answer. Very intriguing stuff. I wonder if it's MV0024 that's making them see these things. Or being locked in a lab with no one for company except for some Jew-hating co-workers. We continue to give each subject the regular dosage of MV0024. Dmitry Afanasi. February 23rd, 1942. Three weeks have gone by and these subjects are eating five times the normal rate, but they gain no weight. Actually, they are getting much thinner. It appears that it takes so much energy to digest the negative calories of MV0024 that even with the extra intake of food, they still don't have enough energy to burn it all off. But this is only speculation. Today we put them on high lipid protein, and calorie diet to help with the digestion of MV0024. Dmitry Avanasi March 1st, 1942. These subjects have changed a lot over these months. Their skin has turned to a light grey. Their eyes are blood-chopped and, and their pupils are dilated. Severe hair loss and increased heart rate. A co-worker of mine commented on their scary looks, saying that they would intimidate Stalin himself. They have deep, deep, dark bags under their eyes and appear to have tooth loss as well. Some scientists are considering terminating the project, but the religious prisoners are still fascist, supremacist Nazis. The research continues. Dmitry Avanasi. March 10th, 1942. The screaming. They won't stop. I don't know how much of it I can take. The subject still won't take our orders. They switch from constant mumbling about death being the answer to blood-curdling screams. I would have quit if they weren't sedated, bound, and had their mouths taped shut. One of these subjects could not breathe through his nose. He was taped and he began squirming on the floor. I could hear his screams through the tape. Tears streamed down his face. He squirmed for about five minutes before he just laid there, lifeless. He was cremated later. The other subjects didn't seem to notice their comrade had died right in front of them. Dmitry Afanasy.